Hi everyone, I'll join here. Welcome to Take Thrones Garage. Today I'm going to be detailing the engine bay in my Vauxhall Voice Ride. Now, because I'm taking this car to the London Classic Car Show in a couple of weeks, I need to get it looking a bit smarter than what it looks at the moment. And the engine bay is dirty, basically full of decades of dust, oil, and grime. So it needs a bit of bit of fettling. And so what I'm going to do in this episode is basically show you how I go about cleaning the engine bay in an old classic like this. So yeah, better get cracking. So all you need to clean your engine bay is some engine bay degreaser, lots of scrubbing tools, all two brushes and domestic kitchen brushes will do absolutely fine. Lots of little sponges and I'll show you what I'll do with those in a moment. Plus a whole heap of plastic bags because there's lots of bits in this engine bay that you don't want to get wet. And all these bags will help keep everything nice and dry. And if you happen to have a handheld steamer as well, that would be really handy too. Right, I've protected the main critical parts of the engine bay, and that's the distributor, coil, starter, and of course the carb as well. And plus I put some sponges that you saw me cut up into the spark plug wells, because the last thing you want is for water to seep into spark plugs. And now it's gonna be less of a risk on this car because the spark plugs are on the side of the head. Whereas on more standard cars, modern cars these days, you have the spark plugs along here it's a lot easier for the water to just go up and straight in. Um, so yeah, basically just cut up some little sponges, put them in, and it just adds a little bit of extra protection. And that's the important thing, you know, you make this little bit of effort now, it'll be better in the long run, because the last thing you want is, when you're finished, then go try and start the car and to have something electrical wet. Not a good idea. So next thing to do is just basically pick a panel, pick an area, and let's get decreasing. And I finished, well, more or less. Uh, it's taken me about five hours of scrubbing and brushing and spraying and mopping and wiping and using the steamer as well. And yeah, it's it's come up pretty well. I mean, obviously there are places that still have a lot of oil on, like the engine block. You know, the only way that that's gonna clean up is for the engine to come out of the car for it to be jet washed and degreased completely. Um, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. And obviously the rocker cover with the flaking paint that does detract from us uh, it's it's on the list of things to do but you know my goal with, with, with doing this was to basically take the rough edge off the car take away all of the dust and dirt and grind that it collected in and around the areas that are most accessible and you know wiping the bottles down giving them a clean and you know around the wings there you know taking the battery out to make sure that area is clean and even just around the front just cleaning up around the badges there was loads of grime around there so you know, it's it's worth doing this kind of thing, and I actually find it quite therapeutic. You know, there's a bit of an OCD in all of us, and uh, yeah, I like to have things nice and clean and tidy if I can. And you know, detailing, I do like it, I do enjoy it, and it's quite therapeutic to just you know scrub away and get something looking a little bit better than it was before I started. So there's loads more cleaning to do in this car. I've got to do the interior as well, and obviously I need to mop the exterior too. 
So, but at least, you know, I've ticked off a few things here in the engine bay. It's not gonna win any prizes at all, you know. You take one look at the engine block, yeah, oh, there's oil. But it's gonna do for now, and yeah. Fingers crossed I can get some other things done now before the London show comes around in the next couple of weeks. So that's it for this episode of Take the Road's Garage and detailing a 36 year old engine bay. Hope you found it useful and yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget I'm on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And if you like these films that I'm making, head on over to my Patreon page and become a patron of Take the Road. Take care guys and remember, just go drive.